Pressure to resign. That's what CPS Chief Forrest Claypool faced before this morning's Board of Ed meeting. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live in the loop this morning with a look at the controversy causing all of this frustration. Hi, Mike. Hi, and that Board of Ed meeting is going on right now in the building that you're looking at. That is CPS headquarters. That shortly after the Chicago Teachers Union and a group of activist parents called Raise Your Hand gathered outside calling for the boss of one of the country's largest school districts to be fired. It's time Forrest goes. Run, run Forrest, run! run. Critics say Forrest Claypool is trying to balance the books on the backs of special needs students. That's why they want him gone. And the Sun Times says at the same time that Claypool is cutting services to special needs kids, he's seeking to up payments to outside consultants to about $28 million. That would be a $2.5 million increase. It's money the critics say should be going to students with special needs, like Ryan Dempsey, whose family says he's being denied the full services he's owed under federal law. Critical aldermen say Dempsey is not alone and that they've spoken with dozens of parents battling the district for similar reasons. And they say the outflow of bucks will likely only stop with Forrest Claypool's ouster. He has the audacity to ask for millions of dollars for consultant fees to help him. Teachers don't need consultants. Teachers need books. Stop cutting special education funding. Our children need it. The fact that we're paying these consultants $14 million to tell us basically be bean counters and say, here's how you can save some money at the expense of children. And we've reached out to the district and have yet to hear back, but they have said that they acknowledge that there have been some cuts in spending, but they say those are cuts that have been implemented in a very, very difficult financial environment. Reporting live out CPS headquarters, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News.